They want to bring tubes back. You hear them talk about it. Everybody says, man, I got a guitar with a tube amp. The best, right? You said it. I got a microphone with a tube in it. Thousand bucks or more. They want to bring tubes back because tubes are warmer. And here's why tubes are warmer. In the 60s, you know, 50s, 60s, everything was done with tubes. Well, tubes heat up. And then their tolerance changes because of the heat. So, you know, to the engineers, that was a problem. But what tubes do is they accent the even overtones. So in the even overtones, I would have C, C, G, C, E, G, B flat, C again, D, E, F sharp. And this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 numbers up there. When I look at the even overtones, what I have is a C, another C, G, and then another C, and another E. All of these are very harmonious. What we have in this seventh overtone right here, that overtone is out of tune because it's mathematical. And we don't hear mathematically. I didn't explain that to you today. Listen to this. You felt that tension, didn't you? And the reason why you felt that tension is because you're hearing do. T is a half step under do, and T, which is do, mi, fa, sol, la, T, has to resolve up to do. And because that's the way our ear hears that, because we've heard everything resolving. to the resting do. But T, listen how active it is. It's very active. You hear the active? It's, it's got to go someplace. It's got to go. It, it needs to go to do. Well, because our ears do that to us, we hear all T's sharp. Because we're already resolving it up. And... Did you hear how that had to go there? Go to church on Sunday, you'll hear it all the time. That's a suspended four. The four, or fa, has to go down to me, because it's a half step apart. So it resolves down to me. So look what we have. Look, listen. Right? Our ears do that. All fa's are flat. Our ear hears all fa's flat. Listen to this. Now you got the feeling with this, right? And it wants to go up. Correct? Well now listen to this. All of a sudden now it's do. And you hear this is do, right? Okay, now listen to that pitch. It's B. Listen to it. Now it's T. You hear that? You hear it. Well, yeah, I'm still talking about tubes, but what I'm trying to explain to you is the overtones and what happens when, when we hear this, this B flat. It is out of tune because it's mathematically perfect. We don't hear mathematically perfect. We hear linear. We hear according to the way we've heard all music. And everything resolves to do. All of the music that we listen to and Western uh, music and all resolves to do. So you've grown up from the time you were in a crib listening to everything go to do. So you all know do. And you don't know that, but you do. So consequently, this overtone, overtone number seven, which is an odd overtone, is out of tune and it rubs. The tubes accent the even overtones. Then came transistors. Going to replace the tubes. They don't heat up, got more circuits right within this little thing. 
the transistors accent the odd overtones. And when we started to listen to the solid state music, you know, it sounds a little brittle. When the transistors came out, we all had to make an adjustment in our ears, and you know what? We all fell for it. Well, digital comes out, and uh, it's another adjustment, because look at the high frequencies, what they're doing with the high frequencies, how I showed you that. It's not there. Our ears waiting for it, and it's not here. Because we come into this room, we listen to the instrument, there it is in the, in the air, and then we go in there and listen to it and say, Gee, what, what is that brittle? Now let me ask you a question. How many of you have MP3s? You're not getting the real mix. I can't judge your mix by listening to an MP3. You have to make a CD at least, so that you get all the frequencies on there. MP3 won't give it to you. It's compressed, it gives you less of the spectrum.